hello friends this is Vinid welcome to my youtube channel techies hub so I am starting a new uh, series of videos uh, which will be mostly related to automations so actually uh, so this will be something related to the cross browser testing in MS test framework so I have this uh, MS test uh, unit test framework set up in the visual studio so you can see this is the MS test project that I have created and I have already set up some uh, test cases which can be used in this demo so as of now I will be showing you how you can uh, do the cross browser testing with the help of uh, MS test so uh, we can do it uh, you in, in unit and all those things so this video will be covering mostly related to the MS test only so there are uh, two ways uh, we can do uh, the cross browser testing so the first will be we will be using uh, this uh, dynamic uh, data attributes in the ms test so what it does is like it has a uh, get data method so which we can use to uh, provide our uh, browser types and we can just uh, call each browser and we can uh, start the uh, method like that so uh, how we can do is like uh, if you go to the unit test to class so so i i believe everybody knows about this uh, test class and test method all those things comes with the unit test so we should have a method and that means the test case or whatever you want and you need to have uh, this piece of code so what it does is like it's 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 it, as the name suggests it will get the dynamic data and it will be also having the name of so name of will uh, actually get the type of the data that we need so if you go to the unit test tube I, uh, I have an i enumerable object which created and i am passing the browsers as of now as chrome and firefox then i am having a for each loop then i will be using yield return new object so what this yield does is like whenever the test execution is completed for uh, one of the browser so it will come back here and it will start from here so once we call the uh, chrome it will uh, yield it so that it will go to the function where we are using it and it will uh, run the test case for chrome then it will come back here and it will take the second browser and it will go to the same function and it will uh, start the execution from there so that's how we are uh, going to use the dynamic data attribute in uh, MS test so actually we can uh, use the same method inside this uh, class where you are having the test so in that case you have to give the name of get data and this type of unit test to you don't want so this we are uh, trying to show in which class we have this get data method and then we are also uh, telling them what is the data source type so how you want this data source type to be is it at method level or at the class level so uh, you can see here like we have the option like method and the property level so it's at the property level only so we are having uh, since the test method we are having it at the proper uh, method level so you can see since i am getting the browser I am uh, having a, a variable declared so the browser will be name will be uh, uh, actually in this browser uh, string then that will be used in the test method so for the demo purpose actually you can see this is the test method one so I will be just running the test method one so I guess the Chrome browser has launched now and it is going to the website seleniumec.com so it, it's completed the first Chrome is completed now it will uh, go to the main uh, function that I enumerable, I enumerable get at and it will take the second browser which is our Firefox 
So now the Firefox has launched. So it's going to that uh, actually the URL and actually that is also completed. So those two methods are completed and you can see it has used Chrome and Firefox. So and since I have given the driver dot close that's why it is closing. So that is one of the way where we can uh, do the cross browser testing. So you need to have this piece of code in all the other tests so it will run for uh, Chrome and Firefox and if you want to add more browsers you can add it here by giving a comma. Uh, so this is the yield is one of the main uh, <coughs> actually the main property that is making this cross browser testing possible. And there is something called data row attributes in uh, MMS test. So with the help of them the data row also we can do the same kind of testing. So you can see I am just giving the data row as Chrome and data row Firefox and the same way I have the string browser. So first it will get the Chrome then the second time it will get the Firefox and it will execute the same. So if I execute the test method too. So actually it is uh, launching the Chrome browser. Okay, and I just clicked on that link. now it will open the Firefox browser so the only disadvantage that we have for data row is like so once the two methods are over then only it will go to the test cleanup whereas in the other uh, the first method actually after every method completes it will go to the test cleanup and after uh, closing the driver uh, it will come back here so the data row is mostly used for uh, actually uh, the calculation logics like if you want to test one test method for multiple data then you can use the data row so the firefox is still loading okay so if you go to the so okay the visual studio okay so you can see both are uh, failed because of the test cleanup method because that's as expected so uh, but if you want to close it then you can use a driver.close method here and it will close exactly so where we can use this uh, data row mostly is like in the scenarios like you have something value here you, in the first scenario it will take the 10 and the second scenario it will take 20 so you can run it for multiple uh, test data set and uh, the one more disadvantage of using this is like uh, you cannot uh, because if you want to change the browser then you have to uh, change it manually for each test case but in the first uh, uh, method whatever you want you have to just go to the uh, this method and you have to change it and add it so it will be applicable to all the test cases okay so so that's all about the uh, cross browser testing uh, with the help of ms test thank you bye